What season is it? It's always the season to season your cast iron. Every trip, every time, stick around. I'm gonna show you my favorite tools to use. I know what season it is. It is the season to season, year round. If you're using cast iron, and I hope you are, because it is the best thing to cook out of in the entire world. You need to clean it properly, dry it out good, heat it up, and season it every time you use it. Every time. Not once a week, not once a month, but every time you get finished with the meal. So I'm going to give you some of the favorite oils that I like to use. But first of all, I want to tell you, if what you're using hasn't created a problem and it's not sticking and it don't taste bad, I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm just telling you to keep at it. Make sure it's clean. Make sure you're reseasoning. But some of my favorites are olive oil. Now, when you do this with olive oil, and I hear some of you out there holler, uh, it's, a, it's a low smoke point, Kent. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm a slow and go man. You can ask Shan, even when I pull up to the stoplight, it's slow, even if it's red, and then I go. I'm a slow and go man. You know, if you cook something in here, we got to clean it out. Then we got to put it on a heat surface. I'm probably going to put it on old birth over. Make sure that it gets warm enough to season. And by that, I'm talking it needs to be above 212 degrees. Now, I ain't sticking a thermometer in there. I'm just touching it with my finger because it's got to be hot enough to accept seasoning. If you go to season with some oil and you pour it in there and it is smoking, you have defeated your purpose. Let it cool off just a little bit. Now, this one's ready to go. We'd pour just a tad in there in this little, about as big as a quarter at the most. Lint-free rag, never a paper towel. Bottom, sides, we're ready to go. Skillets probably don't have as much trouble as Dutch ovens because skillets get used more and more all the time. Every meal, sometimes you got a cast iron skillet. You may not be using this Dutch oven unless you're out there camping or something, but this Dutch oven's about the same on a seasoning method. When I go to season a Dutch oven, it's the same thing. I got to get it hot enough to accept that seasoning. That's one reason I really like olive oil in a Dutch oven is if you're not using this a lot and you store it with the lid on and you're using some old lard or something like that, it can begin to smell a little rancid. Olive oil won't do that because it's like them old timers say, it's going to leave them ovens pretty sweet and it will do that. What's so good about olive oil is it's readily available nearly everywhere. I bet most of you got some sitting right there in your cabinet. Talk about one of them other oils that I really like and it is something that is really good for cast especially if it's cast that you're having to re-season, restart over. Say it was full of rust and we had to get all that out of it and we're building seasoning up from the bare product to where we want to start that good finish. That is flaxseed oil. Now, it is really good at a high temperature. It bonds to cast iron really well and it will make you a slick hard finish. So if you're just starting out with a piece of iron that's new or that you've had to refurbish to get the rust out of or clean cause something stuck in it real bad and you threw it in the fire, start with this flaxseed oil. Same principle, just a dab, bottom, sides, same way in a Dutch oven if you're having to do it. Now I will tell you, this is more expensive than this. And sometimes I can't find this. But I will tell you this, you can go to the health food store, get you some of them flaxseed caplets, take you about three of them, cut the ends of them off, squirt them in there, you got flaxseed oil. The reason I like to use that is like I said, start that good base, get you a good foundation of seasoning that you're building up, and it will start to darken, it will start to get slick. But after that, I'm probably going to go back to using this olive oil because it is cheaper for me to use. But you can always rely on this old stuff. If you're having something that's flaking off due to you cooking a really acidic food or something that's got a lot of acid in it and you see it begin to turn loose some of your seasoning on the outside, go back to using that flaxseed oil. Build that seasoning up. You get her back where you want her, go to this olive oil. Every time, every day, it will be good. So if some of you folks are wondering about how to start this rebuilding this seasoning back up with flaxseed oil, we got a guide right down here below you can go to to find out. We got one more oil over here and it's just an old cheap vegetable oil. Now sure, you gotta take care of the outside of them skillets and them Dutch ovens both, but it's gotta be hot again. It's gotta be hot enough to accept that seasoning. Underneath the lid, on top, 
round that Dutch oven under the bottom because if you're sitting close to the ground, there's any moisture, you're gonna get rust if you don't keep an eye on that. So make sure you give it a good seasoning. Hey, once a month, something like that, but clean it off every time you use it. And if you want to, hey, boil her down before you quit. It'll last you forever. The reason you can use a cheap oil on the outside is we ain't got no food out here. It's not affecting the way that anything tastes or it has to be non-stick. We're trying to prevent rust more than anything else. This cheap oil or any cheap vegetable oil will do that. Remember, my rule of thumb and all five toes and six fingers is never put nothing in your cast iron you can't put in your mouth. There's a lot of stuff out there. I see it now advertised. Squirt it in there, come out of a tube, spray it on there. It's called pre-seasoning. Read on the ingredient list. It will probably tell you, do not ingest or don't swallow. It ain't good for you. Might cause diarrhea or cramps or even abdominal pain in your eardrums. So don't use that stuff. Use some of this stuff we know that works. You'll be good as gold. Back in my mother's time, back in the olden days, when everybody was seasoning, and my mother seasoned every trip, she did. what she use? Pure hog lard. Now, that was a little different than what we got today because that was hog killing day and we rendered lard out. And Mama, she'd clean it up there. She used bacon grease. Mama even had to oil the sewing machine with bacon grease. We was fond of it everywhere we went. So if you got something that's working, use it. But be careful if you get that rancid smell or if you store a Dutch oven too long and it, it can even happen if a skillet, if you got it laying upside down somewhere where it ain't getting air, Get you some of this olive oil, some flaxseed oil, but always remember, get some cast iron, get it clean, get it rinsed, get it seasoned, get it to the fire and start cooking. Never fear cast iron unless your wife has it in this position fixing to hit you in the head. Thank y'all for stopping by the wagon today. We hope that you learned something. Have a blessed day and subscribe. Time to build seasoning up and re-season after that. And there's a gnat in my ear. Mercy. Hey, a whole lot of buzzing going on in there.